Hey, what's up, guys? This is Justin. Uh, this is weird for me, but uh, this is the intro to Junk Drawer Show episode 33, which is also episode two of Road to Freaks. Just to catch you up to speed, back in 2009, Josh and I wrote and produced and directed my senior project, which was a little film I liked to call The Freaks Were All Right, but I had to change it to The Kids Are All Right. I digress. In this episode, we decided to go back to the well. We went back to the original short film, a film I hadn't seen in 11 years. And I go through the five stages of grief, uh, lots of anxiety. Um, but in the long run, I was pleasantly surprised with the structure. Uh, there were definitely some technical difficulties with the playback of some of the videos, uh, mainly because back in 2009, YouTube, it was kind of the wild, wild west. You could put music that wasn't entirely yours into something and have it uh, turn out okay, but copyright strikes are a bitch. But please enjoy. Don't forget to uh, check out the rest of the series. I'm really excited to show you where we go from here. It's your boy. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Okay, hey everyone. Hey. So uh, this is a continuation of Road to Freaks. This is going to be our second episode. And yeah. today we sat down and we were going to start writing. Uh, Justin said, mm, I haven't seen anything since we finished it, which was 10 years ago. So, so can... go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was going to interrupt. It was it was 2009. So 11 years ago. Oh, shit. Yeah. 11 years ago, almost to the month because it was spring break. So, yeah, so 11 years ago is when we finished it. And uh, he hasn't seen it since then. I think the last time I watched it was maybe six, seven years ago. So we're going to go through everything we made. Uh, we made <laughs> – so we made a, a trailer for it. We made, uh, like, character intros for – we made them for all four characters. But I, I, for the life of me, I can't find Quentin's. So – I don't know about that. So we're going to watch yeah. Skylar Cooper and Xander's the trailer and then the actual short film itself. Um, the short film, because at the time we didn't have the ability to upload to YouTube in more than 15 minute increments. It's three 10 minute videos and YouTube also <laughs> compressed it in a weird way that there are black bars. It's letterboxed. And um, what is it when the boxes are on the side, the black boxes? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but they're there <laughs> yeah so it's both it's like uh, standard and wide yeah so it's it's like 70 percent of the size it should be it's it's terrible we were young uh, so i also would want to say kids for you who weren't in the youtube era in 2009 you had to get to a director profile or director status or creator status to be able to record or upload more than 10 minute increments mm-hmm which was a weird landscape because now you can kind of just go for it. Yeah, you can just throw up 10-hour videos if you really want to. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to watch it. Justin's going to react. He's uh, he's nervous, but excited. I have so much anxiety. I have so <laughs> much anxiety. Dude. Oh, that's going to be great, though. Uh, okay, so whenever you're ready, share your screen. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, I don't have uh, anything inappropriate anymore. Good. Because I knew we were recording this, so all of my bookmarks are gone. That you know. But you're my, my stepbrother. Step <laughs> <laughs> we're saying the same thing. <laughs> um, so, Josh, what are we watching first, big guy? Uh, we're going to start by watching the trailer. Okay. Followed by Cooper's pre prequel, Xander's prequel, Skyler's prequel, and then jump right into the short film itself. Okay. Um, so the trailer... Uh, so just in case you didn't watch the first one of these i had to make a move i wanted to make a movie for my senior project because that's what i want to do uh and wanted to do with my life and so i'm like i'm gonna make a movie other people are like i think an ex-girlfriend of mine made her prom dress or her homecoming dress like that was her project so it was i needed to make a, a trailer because we weren't going to watch a 20 minute 30 minute video in the uh <laughs> during the uh the grading so this was my this was my senior project trailer. 
uh, and I I have watched the first four videos recently. It's just the movie I haven't watched recently. Okay, uh, just fucking throw it out. <laughs> okay, hit hit and play. <sighs> Mike we tried so chill. he did. We tried so hard to get him to say that line fluidly. Uh, I remember that, and that was yeah. the best take we got. Yeah. Oh, look at the, the the poofy hair. That's when he straight ironed his hair, right? Yes, but before he was good at it. <laughs> now he does. That's why it's so. You know. Well, at least not that we know of. No, he cut his his hair short now. Cut his beard off. Oh Just... yeah, yeah. He's still up in D.C., right? Yeah. That's still there. God. Yeah, it is. Oh, I like our God. covert outfits too. We're in all black. <laughs> that's, I really uh, do, that's, I want to film there again. I, we should. That's where it should start. <laughs> or, that's do you want to start it there? Or do you want to start with uh, D and D? That's where it should end. Yeah, I like that. Because we have the three chairs. That's right. We had. It was called the kids are all right at first yeah, too. Because uh, I was told. There was no indication that they were freaks at all, which that's fair. They they're just weird. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> so awesome. My right, janky. I'm, okay, I'm gonna pause it. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I I watching us try to walk up the stairs or not the stairs the, the sand pit. I didn't I think Nikki walked up first but ended up getting up top last. Yeah. If you <laughs> watch it, like go back, go back to the to the trailer. Like if you watch us all climbing up it. Yeah, just skip to the end a little no, bit. No, we're already there. Okay, so he was he was second to last. It's not as bad. No, 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 no. He he was he was having a rough time. Like everyone else got up, but him. And he still <laughs> couldn't get up. Like we came all down, or we had to help him out. Oh, he was so uncoordinated. He uh, might still be. Probably. So, this is yours, right? Yeah, this is the Cooper intro. So, so that was my character, who was just like the Eric Foreman type, and this was him waking up in the morning. Um, so because you, out of arguably out of the three of us, you had the best camera. <laughs> yeah, I think tell. I had the only camera. No, I had a uh, I had a handy cam that uh, burned things onto a CD disc. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it wasn't the best. Um, it- Go ahead. I shot mine with that. Mm, okay. When we went, there's a video of us on Facebook from 12 years ago of us three with uh, three more of our friends on a boat. I shot that with that. Oh, yeah. I remember that. That's a good one. I like that video. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, also, it's been, I don't know if you saw on Facebook memories, but uh, Amy Ramsey Wood bought us all jackets that one time. And we still haven't paid her back $28. It was me, Ian. We all got matching cardigans. When? It was back in high school. Did I get a cardigan? Yeah, but I think you bought yours. I just didn't have cash on me. <laughs> That's Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. Yeah, she's not getting that money back. Sorry. Sorry, Amy. But I don't okay. have that sweater anymore, so that's – if that helps. I outgrew it. I mean, you can't pay something back if you don't own it. <laughs> That's the thing about taxes. You can't That's spend... bankruptcy, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They can't take the money if it's already gone. <laughs> uh, go ahead and uh, let's watch Cooper here. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's right. It's we common. did, uh, what's it called? You look the like gorillas. Me. I still have that same blanket. I'm just glad we have you with the shirt on. In your bed. Yeah. It's unrealistic, but yeah. So all these we shot individually. Like, we shot ourselves. The yeah. movie was all of us together, but this one... That's why it's so many static shots. Yeah. Is that it's just, like, us. Also, also, we edited it on our own. So we used... I used Windows Movie Maker for... Gosh, so little. Yeah. Struggling to put on a shirt. <laughs> I would never put on two shirts. It's yeah, too hot I, in Florida. It, it seems counterproductive. 
I but think... I wanted to do it because I wanted to show him putting on a shirt, but not be naked. Meanwhile, in mine, I'm in my underwear putting on pants. I don't think I've watched yours in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen mine. Mine is, the music is very low. Uh, it's very awkward, and I'm going to talk through the whole thing and not look <laughs> at it. Um, We're basically just talking through music at this point. Yeah, exactly. Coming soon. Yeah. I think that, that's pretty much the actual intro. That is pretty much the intro, only I'm going to guess it's going to look a little bit better because, oh, God. Um, <laughs> so... Oh. I want to say it's the exact same. No, because Eli was in it. Yeah, I was going to say Eli's in it. And I'm going to guess it's going to be less, it's going to be less like that. But didn't you shoot the intro scene by yourself or was I there for that? I, I don't remember. I think you were there because there's, there's at least one tracking shot when I go to get my cup in the morning. So it's either me or Mike, I'm going to guess. Yeah, <clears throat> honestly, it could also be my mom. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Lynn, I need you to do this. Yeah do it this Damn is my right. dream i'm gonna spend forty eight thousand dollars at full sale a year <laughs> and she's like yeah that's gonna go well <laughs> um i want I, I it's been a really long time since i've seen this it i shot it at night and i think my mom was out because uh she didn't bother me during this time i think this was probably shot at like nine or ten o'clock at night so i assumed let me make it really early in the morning before the sun came up which mm-hmm. six o'clock the sun's starting to peak so I did great at that. Uh, yeah, we were young. We were not up before like 10. Oh, God, no. Sleeping into me was, uh, I always had a challenge to see how much I could sleep in before my mom would try to wake me up. And my record has been 2 p.m. <laughs> and Just I don't sure know. You're not dead. I don't know if she was off that day or like what was going on. Cause usually she used to wake me up at 11 and I'd be like, oh, it's so early. <laughs> Oh, to be young again. Oh, God. Just, just, I could be talking about this while this is playing. Just do it. <laughs> okay. Um, I put on, uh, what's the, what's the song? It's not, I know it's somewhere over the rainbow, but it's, uh, by Fir- Me First and the Gimme Gimmies. Oh, uh, that's right. That's my armband that a friend of ours made me out of a hemp bracelet that it was too big for my wrist so i would put it on my full my bicep a lot was that sabrina no it was uh stephanie oh, okay and then boxers i never wore boxers i was a boxer boots kind of guy oh, I be that this. Again. all 120 <laughs> pounds of me yeah that's um, why we, we were small small yeah, guys we were small school. boys we mike were and i were both 145 there was all my art that I, if you could see the potato camera quality. Um, I, I made that shirt, uh, as you can tell. And, uh, Ooh, yeah, you can hear my I remember on. that. Ugh. Yeah. See, you can see my mom's purse on the, the counter. <laughs> and then I wanted to show that Xander wasn't healthy. He made the best choices. Oh, hard cut. Always got to get a root beer. Always got to drink. Yeah. Yeah, this was our attempt to, like, characterize them in a minute 30 to two minutes. Which I think, honestly, I think we did a pretty okay job. Yeah, I think okay. For, for kids who didn't know what they were doing. So this was this was supposed to be him leaving before he met you. Uh, <laughs> I just think it goes on for too long. I could I think I can accomplish a lot more now. Yeah, like there's a couple shots that I think could be cleaned up, but yeah, definitely. Well, you know, I was doing <laughs> doing it on Windows Movie Maker, and then this is Mike's where it's just screaming. Yeah, I also like yeah, it's very clearly late night, but you have it set at six, like fifteen in the morning. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, so uh, this was supposed to be right before we met under the bridge, right? Correct. And so Mike's hair is different. This is when he got his hair cut when he had the frank and digo hair the aaron oh yeah yeah um and then also uh i thought it was i think this one's pretty good actually it's just i can't stand hardcore screamo music uh well it, I, that's just because you have no taste yikes um i guess i had the coronavirus in 2009 a uh, topical no it's just i didn't no 
No, so, you never liked that. I never liked it, but I, I supported you guys a lot. Um, Thanks. You're welcome. So I actually like Skylers because it kind of you get a feel for them. Uh, it's just I think the I think the the, the joke goes on too long. But uh, yeah, we'll find we'll see. I I don't think I've watched this one in a long time either. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, throw it up. Okay. <clears throat> I do like the continuity though that we have each everyone starting with a with a time thing. Yeah. I think he edited this one too. Ah, uh, you know what? He probably did. Cuz normally I was doing the all the editing and I think this was when he he said, "Hey, I want to take a shot at it." It's good on. Good yeah, on. we <laughs> he definitely could have like cropped this a bit. Here it comes. God, that audio quality. At least he's responsible enough to brush his own teeth. Yeah. Look at that, Maybe. seamless. So I think you're in the corner doing this, aren't you? I'm pretty sure that's me, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm talking really loud because the music's really loud. <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe I won't maybe I won't do the audio for these because that's yeah. that's instantly gonna take us off. Yeah, they're you all, heard this music too loud. They're all copyright and we got away with a lot. He's not even wearing the same shirt. <laughs> I didn't notice that. God, he's so little. So little. That's drummer Mike. It's it's so funny looking at this now because I remember being because he's what seven months older than me. <laughs> he just hit the door opening twice. Yeah, and then he's just gonna run. <laughs> but I rem I remember being sixteen or seventeen and him being a year older and thinking that he looked a lot older. Than I did. Yeah, no, definitely. And now I'm I looking back and he's like, shit. oh, you're just a little tiny kid. Okay. Ooh. Oh right. So okay, the first camera I bought was like. A hundred dollars from, not not Hitachi. It was some knockoff uh, Chinese company that sounded like Hitachi. This was the this is when I saved up the money to get the one from Circuit City when it was closing out. Okay, so, so that's, that's why, why the so quality is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those were the those were our intros, and uh, yeah, I don't know where Quentin's is, but those all take place at the oh. same time as this on the same day um before we all meet up which is the first main scene so the reason why there isn't one for quentin waking up we never made one for him because that would require us to have nikki longer than you know usually allotted because he was very busy um we did promos we did separate promos where it was talking heads where each character talked to the camera his was him talking at the camera i don't know where those are either and i'm really glad they aren't anywhere because those are super cringy yeah but that's why i want them uh i think they're on myspace if myspace hasn't deleted them i i would guess that they're on a hard drive somewhere like i don't delete stuff so maybe i'll find it one day maybe it's in actually in i think I, I might know what hard drive it is oh uh, fuck you i'm well, gonna look for it. <laughs> part three okay uh, so i i have a bunch of anxiety uh haven't haven't watched this in 11 years um this was oh this was my pride and joy for a very long time this was <laughs> you know oh man just remember it was uh it was so long ago that we were different people yeah we're different people now yep so anything embarrassing not you anything great all you all me yeah that was me maturing <laughs> So none of it, none of it. Oh, God. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. All right. You can see slight similarities. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why did I have That's a drum kit? That's when you hoarded a shit ton of musical instruments. I did. I just liked getting stuff. You getting stuff and you liking it? No. 
Well, because if I got it, the more I got, the more I won. Yeah. Yeah, this had to be you. No, it wasn't. I think it was Mike. Really? Because I didn't know Eli was going to be in it until you said, I put Eli in it. Oh, that's right. I definitely want to get him in again. He had no idea yeah. I was going to do that. Like, you guys are fucking nuts. I had different shoes. Yeah. And it took a lot less time for you to put them on. It and take you did me put a while on two sl- shirts. <laughs> no, are you sure? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you changed your shirt, okay. though. Cooper's forgetful. Every once in a while. Also, I don't know why my bike was just sitting there, but it's convenient. Yeah. Where else did you park? I still like this intro. I like it too. I was saying, when, sometimes when I think of just like image of Josh, I still think of just you like this. As Cooper? You just think of me as Cooper? No, I just think of, like, I remember how you looked then. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, like our, I'm super stiff, but I, I don't think the writing is terrible not yet like i just i feel like this still has potential if we just changed everything about it look we have kind of establishing shots yeah we kind of do i love him eating those frapple racks (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Mike was so cute. <laughs> Not to say he's not cute. <laughs> did he write that one? Did Quentin? Did Nikki write that? I think I wrote that, that one because I was wearing the Vietnam shirt. Oh, that's right. (laughs) I don't know. Like, it's pretty decent. Like, that's a lot of character development right there. There's structure. (laughs) There was structure. Like, you you saw that clearly you guys fought all the time. And then me and Mike are, are just, like, tired of this shit. I love the audio having very different levels of white noise. Yeah. Oh, we were we wanted to have a flashback here. Did we? Yeah, we wanted to have a flashback of me actually ripping my pants. Oh, this is me putting on an accent. Shit. Oh, I thought you were doing it sounded like Conor McGregor for a second. Pulled out glasses. <laughs> Ass. I like that line a lot. I know second graders are cool. Yeah, me too. They are. They're mean. Oh, kids are vicious. Redact Starbucks at coffee shop. I'm trying to look at 
at the story through the uh what is it it's like therefore what, what are the words you want to transition things oh like the south park this happens therefore yeah yeah this happens yeah yeah We had to explain Nikki holding the camera. Oh, it's around Easter. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> no, it wasn't just it wasn't just him holding the camera. It was the fact that he had cut his hair. Correct. So we had to cut his whole like part out, right? Yeah, he was supposed to be in here with us. Yeah. Bread. Yeah. Bread. I didn't have the root beer bottle, so that's why my hand's behind my back. Yeah, I remember that. We did not need out. to do all this walking. Oh, no. I had it for that shot, but not for the other shot, because I threw it away. And then I'm like, I'm not getting that back. And then it's suddenly a glass bottle now. I always thought it was a glass bottle. No. Nope. In the first scene, it's plastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the... oh, Harry. Even though I just slammed you against the wall. I know. If I remember correctly, it like kind of hurt because it's right. You can see how there's a ledge right there. Yeah. But it's okay. I was a big, strong man, so it didn't bother me. <laughs> yeah, this all makes like so. We go to Starbucks to talk to Chelsea, but he's nervous. Therefore, uh, Xander like well, pushes him. Do you hear the song that's playing? No, what is it? Love Hurts. <laughs> was that um was that playing on the no. radio? No. I don't remember putting the song in, but I guess we did. We did. We also put in a Nirvana song earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, acting. She could not get that line without laughing. (laughs) (laughs) Pants on (laughs) Griffin's. Now, see, like with that, I. We never established why he felt like like we we know why it happens, but it's just like there's nothing that triggers him. And I think no. that's like one of the that's the first thing where I'm like, that doesn't make sense. You know, I I know I wanted to convey that he was impulsive, but I didn't know how to convey that. Yeah. <clears throat> OK, part two. Part two. I don't hear anything. I don't either. Uh oh. Is the audio gone? Oh, the audio might be gone. Do you think they took it for copyright claim? Maybe. I should be able to refresh, right? Yeah. Let's see what happens. No. Yeah, let's let's see three. I guess we should have checked this beforehand. No. Okay. okay, part three is good. Go to go to part two. We could just kind of talk it out. Yeah, yeah. There's got to be a song that happens during the cherry bomb scene. See, you can it's see cherry him bomb. thinking about it though. Yeah, yeah. My the song is we... the song is cherry bomb. We we ah. definitely did cherry bomb. Okay, so this is. I think you're like giving me shit for not being able to like have the confidence to talk to her. Yeah. We oh, also this, did. She's a... saying you're not good enough for her. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then Skylar is saying we have to go. Oh, it didn't happen yet. I put a cherry bomb in the toilet. What? There you go. Yeah. I bet if we had, if if you had argue, argued with me more and he got really bored, that would be his impetus to go do something. Yeah, that like, would have made sense. I still can't run. <laughs> <laughs> um, Target's still there. Target's still there. I just went to Target yesterday. Or at least past it. I had to get dog food. I like how we just stopped <laughs> in the middle of the parking lot. Well, it's it's 
in our heads because the map wise we're like oh it's totally on the other side yeah yeah like we know that but no one watching knows that yeah exactly why did why did you pull him because we're gonna i was forcing you to go talk to her and then my thing was like i need to go get rid of those cows that's why i'm pointing over at the field oh that's right that's right like do your own thing and then fate (laughs) she's there for so somehow in that in that really short amount of time she made it all the way there yeah she did she has teleportation powers which is really impressive. Maybe you aren't good enough for it, dude. <laughs> I can't teleport. All I can do is talk about how I cut my hair. Yeah. <laughs> how she cut her hair. No, but then I talked about cutting my hair, too. Oh, yeah, you did. Speaking of which, our hair is very long now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're monster people. Yeah, but, we like, look- cool monster people, so it's fine. <laughs> we look like, like, we're, like werewolves. And then I remember this, the sunglasses continuity. Oh, yeah, yeah. So she put it up in that take, and then it's up there, and then there's another cut of where she pulls it up. Yeah, I think I tried to cut it around so that it worked, but it... Or you know what? I think that was just the cut, because it was on, and then the next part was it up. You're like, do you want to go on a date with, like, me? She's like, yeah, (laughs) nice. Yeah. Do you want to put your mouth on my mouth? And then we didn't, because she was dating someone at the time. and we were respectful. Yeah, we were, we cut away, and then you being a dork. (laughs) Yeah, nothing new. Nothing, definitely nothing new. So this is how we, ah, I wish I could hear it, so we could hatch the scheme of getting the the cow. Yeah. What was he going to do? Oh, this was us waiting. Waiting for... So this was like, oh, you know what this was? We got copyright strike because this was time by Pink Floyd playing. Oh, that's right. We use Sorry, a lot of music. Roger Walters. Roger Waters. <laughs> to be fair, we were never going to make money off of this. No. And this was before copyright on YouTube was like a thing. Yeah. A lot of people put up music video, like fan clip show things. What did I buy him? Uh, ginger snaps. Why? No, you bought him food and I got ginger snaps because I thought that'd be funny. I like ginger snaps. They are good. Nothing like a nice spicy cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so I think the, the, the next movie definitely has to end here. Under the bridge. Under the bridge. Doo-loo, doo-loo, doo-loo. Oh, I don't want to copyright strike us now. <laughs> um, I have to pay fee now. What happened to your head? I don't want to talk about it. Nice haircut, man. Shut up. I remember those. I remember that piece. Yeah. I think because it was all genuine. Because we were yeah. all kind of upset that he cut his hair. Just before, oh, like, we were all I, mad. I think it was the week before we started filming, too. No, it was in the middle of us filming. Oh, no, you're right. Because we shot the original first scene uh, way ahead of time. It was Yeah, it was like a week or two on a weekend. And then, because, yeah, the whole time, <laughs> that, I forgot about that. He's barely in the movie because of this. This was supposed to be the part where he gets pulled away. And then because of him cutting his hair, he had to get pulled away early. So he comes back and immediately leaves again. Yep. <clears throat> Why do I go with him? Because uh, you have to get ready for your date. And then oh, look, right. th- we shot this on a different day. So this, the sunlight is a lot different. We're also apart. So Mike shot his part at this point, And then I, popped my, I, I did my own take at a different time. Oh, that's right. Did did something go wrong with it? I just, I, I don't know if maybe my portion of it was just corrupted or, because that would be the only logical reason as to why I would, wouldn't have been able to shoot with him there. Yeah, I th- I honestly think that we just had to redo <clears throat> it and we thought that the lighting wouldn't be that much different if we went around the same time. Yeah, now it's drastically different. See, because like, yeah, now it's see, now it's back. Maybe the dialogues had to change. So this is my house still, and then this is him needing to clean under her fat flaps. <laughs> Don't forget my favorite sponge. 
Um, and then Mike wrote that. That's his uh, fancy penmanship. So this is supposed to be night. Uh, this was my backyard. And this is us in our incognitous <laughs> clothing. AKA which is black clothing. All black. Was this supposed to be right outside the fence of the... Uh... Yes. Yeah. The cow tipping. I said, yes. Age before beauty. No, we were liberating the cow. We weren't tipping it. Oh, yeah. That's right, because you were an elf. Yes. (laughs) Your fingers. Someone's fingers covering it, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I think Mike, because that was him and us, I think. Just him and I. Yes, it was, because I remember being annoyed that it was covering the... Yeah. The frame. I tried cutting it in to make it smaller. Mm-hmm. It didn't work. <laughs> All Mike. <laughs> I don't I don't get yelled at for that one. You know, <laughs> do you remember when you're outside at like 7 p.m. and, you know, sunlight's kind of <laughs> out there and <laughs> <laughs> it's very bright. <laughs> That's a really big moon shadow light. So you guys are about to have your moment and then I'm starting to call you because I'm panicking. No cops this time, Josh. <laughs> no cops, Cooper. No, now you sound like dad. Now you sound like dad. So we're missing the uh, the B plot here, or no? I would say the love story is the B plot. No, love story is A plot. Cal's B plot. Yeah. So we're missing the B plot. This is where the two of you hop over the fence to liberate cows, and then Skylar gets kicked by the cow because no one knew that cows kick forward. I didn't know that until this movie. Same. See, we learned something today. We did learn something. If anything, I could show you. <laughs> You're so mad. Yeah. I was, I was about to... to the hospital like a normal person. I forgot what I said. Oh, yeah. I come up we... with some generic excuse like no doctors. I don't have health insurance or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> oh. And your mom's a nurse because your mom was a nurse. Yeah. <laughs> the little jog. Cheating. The little jog. It's because I don't run. Oh, this is where I apologize. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. You're so pretty, but like, I can't. I think this was her improv too. Yes, this. She. She was like, genuinely. She brought like, this cuteness to this character that I really liked. Oh yeah, Jenna's great. Jenna's great. I really want to see if we can get Jenna in for either a vocal cameo or something like that. I bet you would. Yeah, I feel like she'd do something with this. Okay, so part, part three. three. This this should have audio again? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So that's my mom's room. <laughs> this is the makeshift uh, surgeon's face. mask. Face mask. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki's face. Oh, audio. I'm so glad. Also, he used Lime Away to clean the flat folds. I think the original idea for this was to have me like running or walk. Yeah. Like running on the phone. Yeah. But the wind was way too loud. Yeah. And then this is the big, I'm going to confront my mom. moment. Yeah. You know, that thing we've been building up to. Yeah. This is totally justified. And he's not being a bit uh, like a dick to his mom. He had so much trouble taking that off. He did. Uh, Quentin. And that's me too, I got. So that was the C plot. I feel like we were going to have more with that. I don't like touching people. That was Xander's thing. He's like, I don't like, no, I'm not going to (laughs) touch. You're gross. You have COVID. (laughs) You have COVID-19. Topical. This is Ballroom Blitz. Yeah. Also, in retrospect, we should have filmed this at the same place we did the other scene. Because this is just a whole new location. Yeah, it's because I I took him to our spot. Also, we didn't have access to a cow field. No, I know. But I'm saying that the the him sitting on the ground should have been where we started the movie. Oh. 
Because right now it's just like a random dirt place. That was way too short of a shot. Dear, 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 dear. Clearly nighttime. Yeah, clearly nighttime. Was uh, I wearing a black? Were we all wearing black on purpose, or was that just coincidental? Yeah, it was for your date. No, I know, but he's wearing black too. Yeah, we all just ended up wearing black for some reason. I think I had one nice shirt, and that's why. Yeah, take these pills that are in this <laughs> kit. Take these random pills. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> we grab, <laughs> we stretch her <laughs> out. <laughs> that can't again, be good for us. Oh, number. yep, yep. You found it's her number. Dark, so you can't see that. And you don't see like it fall out of my pocket or anything. Yeah. Pretty sure that was up because I was really warm. super close what's super close yeah it's kissing is like a big deal for us oh yeah <laughs> yes <they're> like... <laughs> do you guys touch uh, private parts did your private parts throw up in her private parts <laughs> do you make thick and a warm Ugh. i'm like christian slate Uh, touch my hair because I'm nervous. Touch my hair. I don't know what to say. Because you have nervous tics. Yeah. It's going to be interesting reshooting stuff because I haven't done any real... I haven't done any acting in like yeah, almost 10 years. And then you're supposed to kiss her, but then we cut. Because then she started... I think she was dating Harry at the time, right? Yeah. That's my kitchen. Still taking care. Oh, he no, looks really happy when he eats the mac and cheese. I remember that. I think that's Mike's kitchen. No, that's mine. Is he it? He had eyesore yellow kitchen. <laughs> and then she, that's Mike's. Yeah. And because he lived with his grandma, we put on thousand dollar pyramid. <laughs> See, everyone has a happy like evening, and then I'm being a fucking creep. Yeah. <laughs> Let me watch. Kiss. Kiss. Fucking do it. I'm Pickle Cat. Pickle film. Cat. Forever we, Pickle uh, Cat. We should still call it a Pickle Cat film. A oh, junk, 100%. A junk drawer joint. It's like, um, you know how Mike's talking about doing the t-shirt the thing? Director spelled wrong. Casting director is missing an E. <laughs> oh, no. I fixed it in the second one. Yeah, you did. Oh, I think we have, like, credits. Uh, you can really see how this is, uh, like, 90s Freaks and Geeks influenced. My like, it, just ha oh. it has that vibe. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, I'm here. I'm here, too. I forgot they all had names. Like, I was like, we got to figure out what their fucking last names are. The yeah, we just made, we made them as there. bougie as we could. Never forget. So, see, we see gave what, credits. What we got, uh, <laughs> we got Tourette's by Nirvana. Time. Um, I really we didn't do time. Cherry Bomb. Ballroom Blitz. We need some pretty big ones. Yeah. And when we sell this, it's going to be... Uh, we have to pay all them. Nah. And this was... Uh, it's going to be a silent film. Harry's... Uh, well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, We uh, the guy who played... Out Sebastian. when we had no one available. <laughs> Hearts from all. That's super cute. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's a very Josh thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was right. Yeah. Uh, Mike probably had Dylan help. I forgot or about you that. You guys had Dylan. Dang. Dang. Oh, that's right. Thanks, Dang. Thanks. Shout out Dang Trong. With his super deep Bs. Yes. Oh, my, my mentor. Oh, yeah. Good job. He's still kicking. For letting us film. I don't think they do or care. They didn't give a shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They must have taken away our, our URL. Darn. Our URL. <laughs> Whatever shall we do? What should we do? Wow. All right, take off the screen share. So yeah. Back to just us. Okay. Let me just... Oh, sorry, my... Uh... Stop screen sharing. You're back. I'm back. So, so how, how do you feel? They're surprisingly, much to my chagrin and my thought process, there is actually a structure to that movie. It's not yeah. a tangible, like it's not super crazy, but there's a A point, a B point, and a C point. Which I think is interesting. Which is which is interesting considering this is the this is like the first big thing we ever wrote. Because up until that point, it was just pickle cat short videos like the deal and you know Cecil. Yeah, they were like single jokes that we then just improv the entire script of. Yeah, this had lines and like <clears throat> content. Yeah, we made a a very conscious effort to to make this good. Yeah. yeah, no, it's it's interesting. And so I think I forgot about saluting. I like that that detail of me saluting to the carnage before mm -hmm. it pulled away. There I I think my favorite scene or my favorite sequence of scenes was the Chelsea talk scene. The first one? Yeah, the first one outside of uh Panera. I liked the blocking for getting you there. And then having you come out, I liked a lot too. Even though we didn't hear the second part. So from like us getting to the, the wall and basically us leaving the wall because of the cherry bomb. I like that sequence a lot. Me too. I think that was the strongest <clears throat> like cinematography wise that we had. Yeah. I think character wise, I, I did the first scene was the best because we had all four of us. Yeah. Um, I thought we built a lot of character with that. Really just the, I, I think I mentioned it in the commentary, but where... <clears throat> where you and Quentin are going back and forth about differing life views, and then me and Mike are just <clears throat> like hating it. Yeah. I thought those were some some like golden moments in a sea of silver. <laughs> a sea of silver. I would say a sea of like that's a really low metal. Copper. <laughs> aluminum. Tin. Tin. <laughs> tin. Yeah, we had some aluminum in a sea of tin. Um. <laughs> So now getting back to where they're at now, because we just saw a slice of who they were. I think I think the reconnecting is going to be a really strong. I think that should be the A plot. Reconnecting. The, the A plot is having the three of them actually reconnect. Um, I don't think they should do D&D &D because that's a way of connecting. I think there should be some reason why they get together. Um, I don't want to say the death of Nikki's character because that would be cliche. Too morbid. And so too you, morbid. You, what what about watching it makes you want to change it from from like growing up to complete reconnection? Um, because I mean, we could you could still do the the growing up to reconnection, but I feel like at this point. Because of what we we were talking about as far as where Cooper is, where Xander is, where Skyler is, and where Quentin are, like they're doing the D and D game. I feel like there would be. I mean, the the growing up I think is important, but I don't know. I think that I mean I think the growing up could be is still good, and then that in that case we can still keep like the D and D thing in. 
Um, but I'm trying to justify in my head why we haven't seen each other in X amount of years, like physically seen each other. Right. Well, what I'm thinking is that we do, like we do now, live in we live in different places. Like life has taken us into different different states, whatever. But we still have this this D and D campaign going. But maybe we only do it once a month, and it's very mm -hmm. like awkward. And that's why Quentin's like, guys, this is awkward as fuck. We don't talk. I don't know what's going on in your life. You don't know what's going on in mine, like okay. that kind of thing. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna notate that. Okay. Is oh, dude, that's so loud. <laughs> that's so loud. Uh, sorry. I, I type really hard. Yeah, you. it's just that your mic is on the table, too. Yeah. Oh, let's move. Oh, did you turn it off? No, I'm just typing softly. Oh, it's much better. Uh, so you can keep talking. There's that air. Um, um, I'm thinking let's let's wrap this here. And we can still we can still do a brainstorming podcast tonight if you want. Uh, I may have to change locations, but yeah, we could do that. Cool. Then uh, we'll wrap this up. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for listening. If you did this as a podcast, because I I still see this as a part of Road to Freaks. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm really glad we watched it. I really I like it. I still like it. I I wouldn't spend money on it, but it's. It's the same reason I, I like all the film stuff we've ever done. It's a snapshot mm -hmm. of how we thought, how we created things at a certain point in time. Like yeah. what influences we've had. And yeah. and now it's just going to be so much better. It's going to be very different. Yeah. I'm interested to see what we can, what we can bring to it now with uh, our experiences. And like I said, I want to get Isaiah in on it uh, and give him a project to sink his teeth into. So if we can... I think if we could do all that, I'm uh, yeah. I'm pretty pumped about it. Cool, man. All right. Well, like, comment, subscribe, uh, rate us up in your podcatcher of choice. I think that's all the things, and uh, we'll see you later.